Just a gorgeous day here in Tucson, Arizona. After a day of rain and snow up on those mountains, 50 degrees, three mile an hour breeze. Perfect day to launch today. This is our Southern Arizona Rocketry Association Club launch site, second Saturday site. This area will be full soon, full of cars. Our six shooter launch pad. And uh, people launching rockets today. Not much better to do on a Saturday in early March. This is a custom rocket company, Venture. I've flown this before. This is going up on a B-66. Good direction for that, with the way the wind's blowing. Oh, yeah. That was a good flight. You got it, Mike, Michael? Yep, got it. Okay, pad number five. We've got the. Uh, Shoot's not going to uh, open. Former uh, Big Daddy, or what was it? Blue? Uh, Big Blue. Big Blue. Okay, motor. E12. Okay, that's the jump away. Well, the chute did not inflate on this, so let's see we have any damage because it hit hard it looks good well I mean that thing cracked soft dirt because it rained all day yesterday but yeah it's cold out here so I think that's probably what the problem is is I even let this sit in the sun like a vulture that spreads its wings out in the morning to get some heat before they start soaring but it didn't work it still wouldn't open my super alpha this will be flights 21 and 22 today. We'll be putting these up, this up on a uh, C11 and a D12 motor. Two flights today. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Range is cold, bro. Dude, look at that move. Number 21, flight number 21. It's a little breezy around here than forecasted. So a little bit more of a walk today, but not too bad. And in good shape. Let's check it just to make sure. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh my screaming and hollering about this being a D12, and I noticed wow that was a very short flight for a D12. 
And that would be because this is a C11.5. I uh, was gonna put a D12 in, saw the wind, and decided to go a little bit less impulse. But it's not too bad, so I'll put a D in and fly it again. This was up on a D22-7 Q-Jet or Quest motor and uh, caught a thermal. There's the edge of the park. Oh, you can't even tell even at all where we're launching, but yeah, that went, got caught a thermal and drifted away. <laughs> but landed nice and soft in the bush here, so flight number 22 on this. Another good thing about flying out here in the winter is even these, even the brush out here drops its leaves in the spring and summer they're full and it makes it much harder to find your rocket. You can see right through these this time of year. A quest by Karis, now that's going, deck nabbit. West Icarus just finished this one. First flight. Nice and shiny paint. Still smells like clear coat. <laughs> I'll put this up on a D12. All right, Icarus. This one actually, we're gonna do a D12.5, not a D22 like previously advertised. Made and fly to this Quest model. Icarus maiden voyage just got caught in the thermal again but a D it's a quest rocket so D22 was the uh, D22 4 was the suggested first flight motor I did a D12 5 instead Estes and it performed perfect a pretty little thing Somebody out in the middle of here, our launch site, painting some rocks. Those look like rocket engines to me, but they're probably something else. It's amazing what's out here. We should set up a pad on these cement pieces here. Interesting. <laughs> a U.S. Army Hawk. It's a ancient Estes kit. Going up on a D motor today. Maybe a maybe a C motor. Just go, going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. 
Some giddy up to that. in the bushes when the bushes are dark green pretty easy to spot so this is painted camouflage that's what you call a blessed desert catch never hits the ground these bushes catch it even though it's trying to hide because it's camo Not today, brother. Old pirate out here. Purdy day. And let's see here. There it is. <laughs> Just messing around here. Good day. 